okay so hello guys welcome back to the new video so in this video i will show you how you can generate download pdf button on the form submit okay so let me show the demonstration of the project which we're going to make in this video a small project so like here you can see that i have a button so if i click on the button it will show me a pop-up form and when i submit this pop-up form the download pdf button will be generated so let me add a demo mail here and here let's add something demo and if i click on the send button so it will submit the form successfully and it will say the pdf link is generated now so when i close the button so you can see that this button is generated below and when i click on this button it will download the pdf okay so in this video i will show you how you can add such type of feature in your uh, uh, wordpress website by using uh, elementor okay so without wasting any time let's start the video and we're gonna make this from scratch okay so for that i'm gonna add a new page here okay so first we have to make the two buttons okay so i will show you First, uh, we have to make two buttons. Uh, new test. So I will give a random name here, any random name. So let's go to the Elementor canvas. So let's use the Elementor canvas and we're going to publish this page. Okay, so let me do one thing. We have to go here and we have to open this in a new tab. Okay, so let's wait for it. So after that, we have to go to the edit with Elementor and here you can use any themes and plugins whatever you want just i'm using the elementor so this will work with uh, other page builders like bricks and dv okay so here you can see that we have this so what we have to do we have to add a container here and we're gonna add the two buttons okay so let me add the padding of 100 and here we're gonna add the two button okay so one button and the second button so right now we have to go to the container go to the layout and make it center and center now what we have to do uh, we have to enter here fill up the form to download PDF okay so this will uh, open up a pop-up form and this is the download PDF button which will be uh, active when someone fill the form successfully okay so here we are gonna enter the download PDF link okay so after that uh, what we have to do uh, we have to give this both the buttons some uh, unique uh, css id okay so we have to go to the css id and we here we have to give the id here uh, open form open form btn and for this button we have to give a uh, id here again so here we have to give uh, download pdf btn okay so these two are ready now what we have to do so let's publish this first and i'm gonna open my previous page so let me open my previous page with uh, uh, edit with elementor and i will copy some code from here and i will give you this code in the video description so you can copy and paste this code from here and i will show you how you can just replace few things and this code will work perfectly for you okay so after that we have to go to this and here we have to go to this and here i'm gonna copy this javascript code which i have made for you and from here we have to just copy and paste this code now you can see that uh, you what you have to do you have to just replace this so here you can see that we have this first id which is for the pdf button so you have to just go here and you have to just copy your this code and you have to just paste it here so this code is for the download pdf button okay so we have to copy the download pdf button css id so just copy this and go to your code and here you have to just paste this uh, id okay just replace this id with your id and this is for the open pop-up button so you have to go to this open pop-up button and just we have to copy this css id go to your code and here you have to just replace this with your own css id okay so this much is done so let's publish this and after that what we have to do uh, we have to make a pop-up form which will appear okay so let's go to our templates and from here we're gonna open the pop-up okay here we're gonna and here we're gonna make a new pop-up form so right now you can see that i have this download pdf form already so i'm gonna add a new pop-up here so let me add a new form here so let's me do and create the template okay so here we're gonna make a very simple pop-up because we don't want to make the video long so let's uh, uh, go here and here we're gonna add the text here so here i'm gonna write uh, fill up the fill the fill form to download pdf okay so after that we have to go to this container and here we have to make this center and center 
okay also you can make this center like this okay so let's go here and here we're gonna add this now let's put some padding in this container so let's put the padding of 50 okay now what we have to do we have to go to this widget option and here we're gonna search for form so let's drag and drop, drop this uh, elementary form okay so let me quickly change the button color here you have to go to the background color and let me check make this green okay so this is now looking good and after that you can see that this is done now for the generated message which will come so we have to click on this form go to the content option and here in the additional option you have to go to the custom message and here you can see that we have this your submission was successful so here just write form submitted successfully uh, pdf link is generated now so you can write any custom message here whatever you want to show after the form is submitted successfully so just to, you have to give a css id to this form also so, so just click on this form then go to the advanced and here we have to give a unique css id here also so let me see uh, here i have entered the this css id pop-up form so here we're gonna enter a css id pop-up form too okay so let me go to this and here we're gonna enter the pop-up form to css id okay so let's publish and here we don't want to show any condition save and close okay so after that what we have to do we have to go to this new test and here we have to refresh this page so after refreshing uh, let me close this after refreshing you can see that it will load the pop-up so let's go to the uh, this one and here we have to trigger the pop-up from the dynamic text go to the pop-up option and from here go to the settings and here you can search for new form so it will open that form template okay so let's uh, publish this and now what we have to do we have to just uh, replace the name of our pop-up so from here you have to go to the jquery and here you will find the pop-up form so uh, you can see that here you have to just replace the pop-up form our new pop-up form name is pop-up form 2 and here in the jquery also you have to just replace the pop-up form 2 okay so i will give you this whole code in the video description so let's test it out and one more thing you have to enter a pdf which is uh, downloaded here so let's go to the media media library and from here you can see that we have this pdf so you you have to just upload any pdf and suppose i have this pdf so we have to go to this and we have to copy this link and after copying this link we have to go to the download pdf button and here we have to just click the pdf and just open this in a new chat okay that's it just publish this after that what we have to do we have to uh, open this page so let's open this page here okay so right now you can see that our download video button is hidden but it is showing here so our code is working perfectly now so let's click on this so it will show me this but, uh, form so let me submit this form and send so you can see that it is saying that form submitted successfully pdf link is generated now so after closing okay so our pdf link is now generated here so let me go and test it out here so we have done a mistake here so right now you can see that if i go to our new test code you uh, you can see that here we are using the css class because it is dot pop so what we have to do we have to just go to our form and we have to just copy this css id and paste in this class okay let's publish save and close after that we have to see here everything is perfect and now let's refresh this again and now let's try to fill up the form again so let's go to here and here we can enter this okay here we gonna enter this enter this send okay so let's see okay so you can see that our download pdf button is generated and if i click on this button it will download the pdf for me okay so in this way you can add the download pdf button whenever you submit your form successfully and this feature is very much needed nowadays if you want to take a submission from your all users which are downloading the brochure of your website Okay, so I hope you like such type of videos and if you like our video, please share this video with your friends and if you, if you are new to our channel, so like and subscribe our channel and I'm going to see you next time.